here we go. We have covered the original X-Men trilogy, the weird reboot, requel, weird thing movies. And we covered the solo Wolverine films. So there's only one left, because like I've said before, I refuse to review the other ones. And that is to cover the Deadpool trilogy, starting with the first one from 2016. Now, I know I said that I'm going to be less curse-heavy and more constructive going forward. But I think with the Deadpool movies, I can make an exception. Not only because they're R-rated, but also because um, talking about these movies without swearing is really hard. Because not only does the character swear, but it's a way of emphasizing just how kick-ass these movies are. Like, okay, granted, I haven't seen Deadpool and Wolverine yet. I'm going to watch that one tonight, and that review should be out by either early tomorrow or late, late tonight around 11.30. But these first two Deadpool, bleh, these first two Deadpool films kick-ass. They kicked ass back then, and they kick ass now, and I'm going to tell you all about why. And don't worry, as always, no spoilers. I am not about that bullshit. So, yep, for these three Deadpool movies, I am taking off the filter, but it's just this one time, okay? I promise you, after I've re finished reviewing these movies, it will be just constructive rather than cursing going forward. With that said, let's talk about how fucking awesome Deadpool is, shall we? I mean, what can I say about this one that hasn't already been said by far more qualified people than me? It's just as awesome now as it was when it first came out way back in the ancient year of 2016. Well, in the words of the Merc himself, fuck it. I'm gonna try to review this movie regardless of my lack of professionalist status. Pros. Ryan Reynolds is phenomenal as Deadpool. He's the biggest reason this movie even got made, because he's the one that made that short film and uploaded it online, which got it viral, which got Fox to change their mind. The jokes are hilarious. This is one of the funniest comic book movies you will ever watch in your life. The writing is raunchy, but it's not cringe. Like, it is raunchy, it's super adult, and it does have a lot of crass lines and a lot of swearing, but it's not cringy it's not adult swim like it's actually clever in its wordplay the more you look into it the characters are all cool i mean deadpool he's one of the best characters of any comic book ever and this is a perfect portrayal of him but what also surprised me is how much i love the other characters in this one like this new version of colossus is really good negasonic teenage warhead is surprisingly great i was not expecting to like that character as much as i do and heck, even Vanessa, the love interest, is really, really cool. So, yeah, the the characters are cool in this movie. Heck, even T.J. Miller as the bartender is pretty good. Which is weird, considering it's T.J. Miller that we're talking about here. The dialogue is superb. Like, I know on the surface, it sounds like the stupidest dialogue you'll ever hear. But the more you look into it, not to mention if you have that background knowledge of the Deadpool comics and how it all works in the lore... This movie's dialogue is actually a lot more clever and accurate to the source material than you may think on first glance. In other words, it's really fucking good. Negasonic Teenage Warhead is an excellent new addition. I already talked about her, but yeah, she is fucking awesome in this movie. The references and fourth wall breaks are just as plentiful as the comics themselves. Like, this movie is unapologetically a Deadpool movie in every single way, shape, and form and term of the word. Because this motherfucker is breaking the wall every five seconds, and it's hilarious. Heck, even the freaking opening credits are breaking the fourth wall with how they describe who's making the movie. It, it's so fucking funny, bro. It's so funny. The suit is iconic. I mean, it pretty much is a comic-accurate Deadpool suit with just the, you know, the normal uh, live-action movie makeover with the textures and the extra detail but aside from that it is super combat accurate and the, the suit itself is just fucking cool like it was always a cool suit it was cool in the comics it was cool now do you i think his x-force one is better 
yes, it's just because I'm a sucker for the red eyes, but this is still a badass suit. The makeup is great. Like, the way that they were able to replicate uh, what Deadpool looks like under the mask, it's really good shit. Like, it is, again, accurate to the comic books. It looks exactly like it came out of the comic books. But I'm not sure if it's the best makeup effect of that kind that I've seen. Because even in that awful, awful Spawn movie from the 90s, they had some great makeup in that movie. So I'd say those two are about on equal footing with one another, makeup-wise. But the makeup in this movie is great. The directing by Tim Miller is outstanding. I can't say whether or not he was like a qualified professional by then or if he was a newcomer. But either way... His directing in this movie is fantastic. He does a great, great job. The runtime's perfect. It's not two hours, surprisingly enough. The tone is fittingly twisted in the best way. Like, the tone of this movie, it bounces between being super serious and super silly. But it finds a way to balance it in a way where one isn't overwhelming the other. Like, for example, during Wade's origin story when he's in the... Uh, getting his treatment and everything, like, the seriousness goes up, but the jokes are still there. And then in other scenes, like, when uh, Deadpool's killing people, the jokes are here, the seriousness is here. Like, it perfectly balances itself out because it keeps just slowly and nicely transitioning between the two. It's not fucking jarring. And yeah, this movie's uh, uh, sense of humor is dark and twisted. In other words, it's right up my fucking alley. Rewatchability is extremely high. This is one of my most rewatched comic book movies ever. Just plain and simple. The love story is investing, which is surprising considering how it's the B plot of this movie. Like, it starts out as the A plot when learning about its origin and all that. But after that, I wasn't sure if I was really going to stay hooked into the love story, but... I actually felt the chemistry between Wade and Vanessa, and I think they work really well as a comic book couple. So, yeah, I was surprisingly invested in the love story, and I wanted all the characters to survive in the end. And it's just so much fun. Also, one of the funniest end cred scenes ever. Yeah, that end cred scene where he uh, name drops Cable in his robe, <laughs> and he makes jokes about how he... He thinks that everyone's staying because they think that they have something for Deadpool 2. And then he's just like, oh, no, but we don't have the money for that. <laughs> like, it's fucking brilliant. It's so funny. And again, the movie's just so much fun. Like, it's a movie that knows what it is and it's having fun. It's not trying to take itself super seriously the whole time, but it's not a complete joke all the time either. It is a very well-made comic book movie that knows exactly what it is and just has fun and its own weird, twisted sense of humor. The cons, the villains are just okay. That's this movie's biggest problem. The villains are just okay. Ajax is fine. Like, I get why Deadpool hates him so much, and it's a very relatable reason, but as a character, he's kind of just evil for the sake of being evil. Though I will admit he does get a funny line or two every now and then. And then the big bodyguard woman... I did not care about her at all. And the third act is a little bit rushed. Because it takes so long with the setup over half of the movie, it does end up taking away from the finale of the movie. The finale is still really fucking good. It's just, it could be better if they just shortened this portion a little bit. Overall, though, minor complaints, because this movie kicks ass. Even after all these years, it's still an absolute blast, and has arguably only gotten better over time. Very highly recommended. If you don't mind blood, gore, raunchy humor, and a lot of swearing. In other words, if you love Deadpool, you're going to fucking love this movie, because this movie respects the character and brings him to life in the most faithful way imaginable. Could this movie be better? Sure. If the villains were a little bit better, this definitely would have been a higher scoring movie. But as it is, it's still scoring high with me because I fucking love it. And it's, again, one of my most rewatched comic book movies of all time. Up there with uh, Logan. Up there with the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. 
up there with No Way Home, up there with fucking um, the Captain America trilogy. Like, this movie has insane rewatch value. And it is just crazy how it literally took over the world when it came out in 2016. And even now, in 2024, it's still a kick-ass movie that I cannot recommend highly enough. If you're a Deadpool fan, you are going to love this one. And even if you're not the biggest fan of Deadpool, I still think that it's a great comic book movie that's more than worth your time. Final verdict for this kick-ass fucking movie is a very high 9 and a half out of 10. Is it a little bit of bias? I don't give a fuck. This movie's awesome. Well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more kick-ass videos like this almost every single motherfucking day. And I'll see you next time when we take a look at how they continue this momentum with Deadpool 2. You can't take it anymore, it's